Hello and welcome to a new Let's Play. I'm playing Hearts Iron 3 on the World War 1 mod and as you should be able to tell straight away we are playing as the German Empire. However, this Let's Play is slightly different to a usual one. I am not playing it straight from the start, I am playing it a few weeks away from World War 1, from the actual start of World War 1. Uh, I have actually obviously been playing this as a mod or like that, I've just organised it all. I have my navies all set up along the coast. Uh, as you can see, I have three, uh, two armies, I believe. Uh, one, the first army, and the second army. The, so the third army, wait a minute, first, oh yes, of course. Second army group, yeah, so I've got the third and the second army on the eastern front, and the first, fourth and fifth on the western front. The first army, if I can actually, oh, sorry, the second army is up sort of near Königsberg, uh, and they're going to sort of push up in the north of Russia, whereas this army, where, if I can find it, the third army is down here. I'm going to put these on AI because it's a bit too much micromanagement having to deal with two fronts. So I'll have attacking stance. Let's have a look at where their VPs are. So we'll get, give them them to take. So that sort of creates a nice line there for them to have to push through. And that'll be the front. And this army, the second one, is going to go on a blitzing stance because we've got the superior firepower. Uh, and they are going to attack sort of Riga, uh, Minsk, and so forth, and they're going to push that way. Uh, and so that front is effectively done, there's nothing else to really do with that. Uh, these navies, I actually want to attach to the Hanover. What's this one? Oh, right. That's my transport fleet with a dreadnought. Um, I won't actually be needing to transport any units until the invasion of Britain, pretty much. I tend to not bother with Africa. Uh, I think it's a waste of resources, quite frankly. Um, some stuff does go in our way. We can quite easily wipe out South Africa. Um, if I just send... Oh, not a war yet. But as soon as the war starts, I need to try and remember to send this unit straight down there. Because um, I've only got one... Two, three, four, five. Oh no, four. They've so got four victory provinces. Five victory provinces. So they're not exactly that hard to take out. This is because uh, eventually, a few months into the war, the Boer War kicks off, and those rebels, rebels like rebel, and I get control of them, so I can just take out Africa. Once I've taken out South Africa, uh, they'll be on my side, and I can just ignore it. Uh, I'm not gonna try and really defend you know, against Britain up here, they will probably wipe me out. But as soon as I, you know, conquer the UK, it should be quite fine. I will say I've played as Germany only once on this. I did pretty well, took out Russia, took out basically all the allies, and I was just going on a rampage, just killing Portugal and everyone. Um, obviously, Italy will change sides at some point in the war. I'm not sure when, it could be at any moment in time. So, enough talking. We shall get cracking. Um, so yeah, I decided to not bother showing you the preparations to walk. It's kind of boring. This is going to be like a quite a short let's play, effectively, a bit like my other World War One let's play, which I did for the hundredth anniversary of the assassination of Franz Ferdinand, uh, where I played as France, and we won that in nine episodes, I believe it was. As I say on pretty much most let's plays, I do actually much prefer quicker ones. Uh, actually, we don't need to defend, to try and attack Amsterdam because they don't join in straight away, do they? So we need to be going down there. Because Amsterdam, sorry, not Amsterdam, the Netherlands, they're not going to be a problem just yet. Uh, until I probably make them a problem. The first army is obviously going to be, it's only got four cores, it's going to be pushing, doing the main frontal assault. Uh, the fourth army is going to deal with Switzerland. It's only got one core, but Switzerland is the only problem with is with Switzerland is obviously the quite mountainous, so 
That's probably the only real problem we face with them. We're actually wasting some research points on artillery. Alright, so, I mean, just before I started my single player German, camp German, German Empire campaign, I was. I hadn't played Hearts of Iron in like a good four months, like properly. I hadn't like had a proper go at it. Uh, and I was like, Franz Ferdinand has been shot, he's dead. Um, I'll slow it down now because the war's going to start kicking off soon. Um, I was going to say. Yeah, and it was five hours under 500 hour total playtime for Hearts of Iron 3. And now I think I'm like like 510. So just from that one single player campaign, I played 15 hours on it. Which is quite sad, I guess, and unreal. <laughs> and unreal. But that was only because, like, this is obviously not going to last 15 hours. It's probably going to last about three hours at the max. But that was because I invaded everyone. I just took over pretty much most stuff, apart from the Americas, South and North America, or America as it's actually called. Um, so yeah, I'll speed it up a bit again, because it's going to start kicking off fairly shortly. Super heavy artillery, that'll do us quite nicely. Uh, aircraft. I mean, I will research it, but I, I doubt it's going to play a vital role at this moment in time. It may do. I, see, I don't know how long I want this Let's Play to last. Do I want it to last up until, like, I've wiped out France, Russia, and Britain? I don't want to continue and try and actually take out the United States, which I've never done. I've never done in a Hearts Fine game, or any Paradox game. I've never actually managed to invade the United States and take it over. I've been in a game where someone on my team has, but I've never done it myself. So it will be quite interesting to see. Now, what I did miss from my single player let's play, which I've just, uh, campaign, sorry, which I've just remembered is this over here. I'm going to try and get these light cruisers over here as fast as possible. They're probably not, not going to actually make it in time. We're going to send them to our Koningsberg fleet. Koningsberg. Do we have any... Oh, shit. That oh, spazzed out. Oh, God. We've got a lot. Holy shit. Did not realise we had all these troops. To be honest, I didn't actually know that Germany earned all of these. Because Japan earned some and America earned some in that's fine, like free the core game. Germany had quite the empire. Didn't it? When you think about it. You know, it's got... A good, fair bit of Africa. Obviously, it lost it all, but that's because uh, what's his face? Oh God, look at that stack. The Kaiser wanted his place in the sun, and he certainly bloody got it, didn't he? Ah, oh, there we go. The July crisis. So, the ultimatum was part of the coercive program meant to weaken the Kingdom of Serbia as a threat to Austria-Hungary's uh, occupation of the Northern Balkans, which is a significant southern Slavic population, including the majority Serbian community in Bosnia. This was supposed to be achieved either through diplomacy or by localised war. If the ultimatum were rejected, Hungary, Austria uh, prepared for war, preferred war, sorry, and to ensure the war, and to ensure the, and to ensure war, the terms of the ultimatum were so harsh that they were certain to be rejected. I think Serbia accepted all but one, pretty much. So, Basically, what happened was there was an assassin. The Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria was assassinated in Sarajevo, Sarajevo, or whatever, by the Black Hand Gang. Uh, Austria, you know, took this as an act of, of aggression, gave Serbia an, a ten-point ultimatum, which involved a lot of horrible stuff, and they accepted all but one, which I cannot actually remember it. And because Serbia had a big Slavic population, which Russia, the Russian people, were Slavs. Russia decided to back Serbia and started to mobilise, which we see here. Uh, so mobilise against Austria-Hungary on the July 28th, 1914. The Tsar of Russia ordered partial mobilisation against Austria-Hungary only. While war with Austria-Hungary seemed inevitable, Nicholas engaged in a personal dialogue with the German Emperor, Emperor in an attempt to avoid war with Germany. Well, that obviously didn't happen. 
Russia, uh, Italy's obviously left us. They've quit the alliance because they don't want to get into a war, quite clearly. Um, so what happened basically was Russia declared war on Austria because Germany is allied with Austria and promised Austria like like something in return for Austria backing them up in in Morocco in like 1908 uh, obviously Germany went to war with Russia France and Russia had an alliance so F France got drawn into the war and then Germany invaded through Belgium and Belgium had a treaty with the UK called the Treaty of London which basically promised Belgium independence and protection. So there's your little history lesson <laughs> of World War One. if you've never learnt about it, which I know quite a lot of people didn't. Uh, I only learnt about it in World War Two, in, uh, World War II, in GCSE history. Uh, so I've never learnt about it before then. The sleeve from the plan, here we go. On the 1st of August, obviously we're in 6th, 1914, Germany declared war on Russia. On the outbreak of war with, the, if, with its eastern neighbour, Germany put the Schlieffen Plan into action when the German Empire began to mobilise on the 30th of July 1914. France, resentful of the German conquest of Alsace and Lorraine during the Franco-Prussian War, ordered French mobilisation on August the 1st as well. Germany declared war on Russia on the same day. The United Kingdom declared war on Germany on the 4th of of August, following an unsatisfactory reply to the British ultimatum that Belgium must be kept neutral. So there's all your effects. If you want to read them, you can do. There's not really much point. Point. It's basically just gaining threats and using neutrality and stuff like that. Right. Here we are. <laughs> Talking very fast. I'm gonna send you straight down. In fact, no, I'm not. You're gonna take that and then you're gonna go back down to your border and try and protect it if you can. Hopefully, the Boer War will be fairly quickly. Um, are we are we going gonna go? Yes. What you're in defensive stance. Let's go for blitzing. Let's see how far we can get in before obviously attrition starts to kick in and we start to lose our actual um, advantage. Um, on this flank, are we at war? What's going on? Oh yeah, we're at war with them. Austria is not involved yet. I will say that. And if I can. I am actually intending to keep Austria out of the war for as long as possible. Hopefully by then, by by the time I actually in, invite them, which should be when you see this border here, when this border here lines up all the way up here, like, you know, when this bit here basically has been taken by me, so that we've pushed the border so we've got one big long line, then I will invite them. Hopefully by then they'll have taken out Serbia. Generally that doesn't happen, or from my past experience. Right, let's see where we are with the whole situation. So, at war with a lot of people, quite clearly, Canada and all them. Yes. Uh, what do I need to do? I didn't mobilise, which was absolutely ridiculously stupid. I, f I always forget to mobilise. That could have gave us a massive uh, advantage. So, we'll add war girl to UK, Russia, I've got an HEI, French Republic, and everyone. Uh, One thing that I want to do is start out my production. I've got a lot of upgrades to go through, so we'll get doing that. Uh, consumer goods have dropped, like, massively. I do want an excess in that, just so we don't get any dissent. America, you need to be influenced by me, because I don't want you joining the Allies. We have a need of 10 dipl diplomatic points of leadership. I'm going to influence these just to deter them from joining. Uh, who are we actually trying to sway to our cause? Probably Norway. We don't need Norway. I'll invade them. Who else? Kingdom of Spain. Sorry mate, but you're a piece of shit. I can wipe you out in about six months. Uh, Portugal as well. No need for you. And that's not it. Who else was there? Uh, Bulgaria, Ottoman, Swiss Confederation. No, Bulgaria. No. Can't have been the Ottomans. Do do. I like this music. Um, no. What are we spending diplomacy on? Am I blind or something? Uh, officers, we've got an excess of. I'm gonna have. 0.10 excess for um, diplomacy and officers can just go down completely because 
I'd much rather it go into research. Uh, espionage is effectively pointless, but we need some just for our home defence. Am I actually... No. So we've got plenty of spies, which is fine. We need to mobilise. Uh, sorry, we need to enact some new laws. Total economic mobilisation, that's what I meant. No. Heavy industry emphasis, propaganda press. Yeah. Alright, we're all, we're all good to go. We are good to go for war. Um, what's this? Ottoman German Alliance. Yes! Ottoman. Ottoman Empire. I would like you in my cause. Come on, Austria. Serbia is not a problem. You should be able to wipe them out fairly quickly. Can invite them, I guess, now. Who is it that we can invite? Yeah. For some reason, Belge uh, Bulgaria, sorry, is like actually able to join us. Like it comes up saying that they can join us, but then when we actually invite them, they don't want to. Luxembourg is about to be conquered. That's fine. Uh, I must admit, I do like the music for the World War One a bit better than the Hearts of Iron. It's got a bit different tune to it. I can't invite them just yet. I've got to wait until. Ah, something that I forgot. I can hear our cargo ships being knocked down. I'm going to just create a massive defensive front over here. I'm not going to go on the offensive because the British Navy is significantly better than mine. Which obviously puts me on a bit a bit of ease. Uh, I'm going to try and destroy the Russian one because that's it's old fashioned. Uh, I'm one of those hats fine free players that tends to just con concentrate sheerly on our army instead of our navy and air force. Uh, because I think land units are probably more important for Germany considering we are surrounded by enemies, nearly. Or the alliance is surrounded, aren't we? Pretty much. Uh, I just saw a big battle which isn't very nice. Oh dear, where was that battle? Oh, it's there. Against, against the Russians. We do you see how many we crushed? We crushed quite a bit. Um, the, I'll tell you what though. What I'm going to do is these episodes are going to be much longer than the standard Luba Force Network episodes of about 15 to 20 minutes long. I'm going to actually like have half an hour long episodes because this is going to be a... Where's Invite to Faction? This is going to be quite like... A, like maybe once or twice a week I'm going to upload this, maybe once a week uh, because Total War Attila is coming out and I have it in my Steam library because Diplex Heated bought me it which is very nice indeed so I do want to be getting as many videos of that out it comes out on Tuesday the 17th of February if you want to know which is a day that I have off school because I've got no lessons so I can be playing it and getting used to it and then I can record once I feel comfortable that I know a bit about the game and I'm not just gonna get into it try and record and not know anything what I'm doing. From what I've seen it just appears very similar to Hearts of Iron, uh, God, Rome Total War 2 pretty much. It's basically Rome Total War uh, 2.1 or something. Oh I've got hiccups. Uh, we're about to take out that, which is nice. When is the Boa War going to break out? We might as well go along here and just, you know, take out some ports and stuff like that and be a bit of a menace, say. Eh? I mean, these military police are not really going to do much to this French division, but still. It's something. It's something. We're going to attack. We've just been attacked, apparently. Um, should I invite these dudes in? on the 18th. I think I will because we can close off the Suez Canal and it will cause another front with Russia which is not actually very much protected. Uh, very well protected should I say. English is not my first language. I'm joking it is. <sighs> right. I'm waiting for this diplomat to arrive. I can just hear my cargo ships just being absolutely butt fucked. I'm going to invite you. You've joined the war. I'm not going to invite. Oh my god, Austria. Oh, the Greece. The Greeks. What are you doing? What are you doing, Greece? 
join in the war against your supreme rulers. Oh, the Eastern Front's going pretty well. Western Front is quite stagnant. Shall we increase our oh, already on Blitzing Stance? What's the fourth army on? That's. No, I don't want that on the fifth army. And I'm going to put them on Blitz and Stank, because pl Stank, Stank, they're only against uh, the, the Belgians, which is not really a threat, are they? Uh, no offence. But it wasn't. The only thing that Belgium and the Netherlands really had to their name was uh, their empire. Belgium Congo, um, and Dutch Caribbean islands and stuff like that. And this place here. And I mean, they're quite a nice empire in the east, actually. That I think of mine. Uh, we can't. I'm not going to do out with that. Can't be asked. Is that British? It is. Why high? Who's this? Queen Dale. Where is Shanghai? You're there. I thought it was you. Hong Kong is nice. Um, I don't know how powerful the Republic of China is. Yeah, see, Bulgaria has been invited, can be invited, but they won't join. To be honest, I'm actually wanting to conquer all these nations down here. So, I'm not going to invite them anyway, or attempt. I don't want you, Bulgaria. I want you uh, to be a part of my empire, but... Uh, we can, in fact... Go for a different approach now. Warsaw, really, taken. Lovely. I know some people do have quite a problem... With YouTubers that play Hearts Iron 3 when they just put it on AI mode. Um, I mean, I think I might actually take control of this. The 5th Army. Yeah, I'm going to take control of the 5th Army and try and take Brussels, at least. So where are we then? This is the thing. Um, you're going there. See, I know something what they are doing in Hearts of Iron. Housewife 4, which I welcome, quite frankly, is the removal of all this shit. Instead of there being actual, like, armies and corps and army groups and theatres and stuff like that, now, there is just an army command. You assign divisions and whatever to the army command, and then you just give them a target and they'll fuck off and go and do it. So it's less... Micro, it's, it's, yeah, it's less micromanagement, uh, basically a bit easier, you're going to lose that, you've lost that, aren't you? you're probably going to get counter-attacked, oh no, they've retreated, that's because these Belgians have retreated, because obviously we've taken Ariel, so, uh, you can move forth now, because we are pushing, you're going to go up the, up through Antwerp and keep pushing, you're going to attack there, No, you're going to attack there, mate. Hopefully this should be a good sort of manoeuvre. We've got our... What's this division? The 20th Division, Infantry Division, will be moving through Hasselt, Turnhut, and Antwerpen. Don't know why I said it like that, but it's my, my thick German accent. <laughs> that, was, that was like a mix of... everything. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's all I can do in German. I'm sorry, I've let my subscribers down. Um, we're going. I mean, we should be moving faster than this, guys. Come on, look at the fucking defense. The French army has retreated completely. Right, some of us have got into position, which is quite fine and dandy. Not gonna go there now. God, where is the French army going? Can't move you. Can't move any of you. Can I move you though? Yes. Right. These guys are holding on. The 15th Infantry Division is defending just outside of Brussels. We just lost a battle somewhere. Oh shit, that's a big. Right, you need to go back. Uh, I'm quite. Cautious with my navies, actually. As soon as like there's a big battle and, and like you know some stuff is some ships are badly damaged, I will end it. 
Uh, so not end it, what am I about? Uh, like, go and send it back to be repaired, effectively. We should be crushing the French. Um, fourth army. I don't think that Sweden's going to... Uh, not Sweden. Switzerland's going to really do anything, is it? So, right. I just need to figure out what I am actually in control of. I don't think I'm in control of you, no. You're getting attacked, which isn't nice. So you need to support your AI. Right. It's going okay. It is going okay. I'm going to win that battle. And once we've won that battle, I think I'm going to actually try and strike Brussels in, in, like as a, in its back. Hopefully these won't get attacked and then I can actually assault uh, when they hurry up. I'm going to do a dual assault of 35,000 men. But a rebellion, right. Never mind. Yeah, this is what I mean. Look, um, very little opposition, actually. You're going to go up there. You're going to take that. You're going to go down there and take that. And then, obviously, the only problem with these guys is militia units. You're working your way down to the capital. And that's simply it. That should work, as long as no British troops come and reinforce or anything like that. Um... We are pushing in. How's the... Oh god, the Eastern Front is looking quite magnificent. Let's change... In fact, no, we can continue because we haven't actually taken the objectives. However, the Third Army has taken Warsaw. What's going on? Oh, this is... Ninth Corps, god damn it. Uh, right. I'm going to go for Kiev. And try and like push that way because that'd be nice. There you go. Uh, back over here then. Are you two ready? Get ready. As soon as they get in Antwerp and charge. Well, it sound like that, but still. A bit more like. <laughs> um. No, I don't want to move your HQs up just yet. I mean, there's no opposition. Where's the fucking French army? This is a bit easier than my single player one, I'll tell you that. Petrograd? Did we just take Petrograd? Don't even know where it is. How's this font going? Good. Um. I still invite fucking Bulgaria. I don't like Bulgaria. On this game. Serb! Oh, come on, Austria! You're not even in the war! What are you doing? What are you doing? You buffoons. <coughs> and it looks like the Belgian capital is about to fall. However, we don't have enough troops up here, I don't think. So, um, what are you doing? You're going to get up there and then go to Antwerp and you're going to keep pushing that way. You're just going to hold that. And that's fine. Um, you can also attack Verdun. Battle, oh god, the Battle of Verdun is horrible. We're going to try and actually... I didn't even know Verdun was there. Yeah. We're doing okay. I'm going to put it on full speed. Watch how quickly it all drops down. We just lost a ship, and holy fuck, we've been been pierced, haven't we? U.S. Declaration of Neutrality. That's all good. Means I don't want to get involved, pussies. Uh, I'm gonna put these guys back on AI because I think I've fucked this up a bit. Uh, so we'll have you on attacking stance, and you can go for Dunkirk. There you go. Let's watch how quickly this descends into chaos. From what I have done. Yes, look, we're being pushed back in the north. Um, I think we will have taken out Russia by midway through 1915, and we'll have taken out France by like January, end of January 20, uh, 1915 as well. 
We need to Denmark is gonna be a problem as well. How's our navy's doing? You're doing fine. You're a bit bad, but you can hold on. You're doing okay. You are in a fucking mess, my friend. How are we doing over here? Still in a mess. How are you doing? I think we're going to send these two navies back, actually, to repair. How good is this port? Five. Ten star. Right. Let's end this episode here. Obviously, these are going to be, like, maybe one or two videos a week, depending on my upload schedule. Obviously, Total War is going to be quite dominant in it. Uh, Minecraft will still be on Sundays, if you like that. Um, not many of you will do. We've actually taken the series, which is great. So, obviously, give us a like if you enjoyed this episode. And give us a like for Germany. For the German Empire to crush French, British, and Russian blood. There you go, there's my little speech for you. So, thank you, and I shall see you next episode. Ta ra.